Bob. Oh, fuck that mask. I ain't wearing no goddamn mask. Hey, ah, uh, no more goddamn joint, my friend. Yeah, that's about it. Hello. All right, we got to get out of here. We got to get some music going here. I get off on a tear. What, I just want to tell you guys this. Whatever you find, and I told you this before many shows, this is just a little hobby of mine. I'm not going to watch trains go round and round in a goddamn circle. I'm not going to hit some little white ball out on some freaking lawn. You know, I love fishing, but I don't get out enough, and this is why, because I'd rather be doing this, honestly. I, I love having my own little show, and... It helps me vent. It helps keep my blood pressure down. Although it does go up at times, but that's uh, that comes with part of the terror. That's part of the territory. Uh, but I, but the, through it all, and after at the end of the day, I just hope that I I, I made a few people chuckle, laugh, and, and just forget about what's going on just for a minute. I know, although I know I talked about it a lot right now, but you can't help but talk about it. I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, so God bless you guys. Take care of yourself, uh, all you boomers, all my brother and sister boomers, and God bless all my brothers. Welcome home, brothers. Welcome home. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have a little. We're gonna have a little music here, guys. Uh, I never know who's gonna, gonna put on because it doesn't really matter because uh, I don't really have a format because I don't have I don't have any audience really to worry about a format. Uh, and that's the truth. Anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. Maybe one day I'll get some people to actually try to communicate with me. Um, okay, where are we going here? Well, first off, we got to get rid of this stuff. We're getting rid of that stuff. Laurel and Hardy, goodbye, guys. Much as I love you. Much as I love you. Uh-oh. Already? You're shitting me. Already. All right. What time is it? It's 10 to 8, guys, and you guys are out already? Huh? Officers Tony and Muldoon from the beloved Car 54 TV sitcom series that ran from, I want to say, 55, maybe, to 62 or 3. Something like that. Uh, yes, there they are. Officers Tony and Muldoon from Car 54. Where are you? And they, and those, those, uh, couple of cops, those boys in blue, they were elusive. They were always looking for Officers Tootie and Muldoon, and back then, you know what, uh, the, the, the donut stigma had not uh, taken effect yet, no, no, uh, although, although Tootie still was kind of fat, I never did know who was who, uh, Fred Gwynn, who played uh, the Munsters guy, who played uh, Fred Munster, um, yeah, he was one of the cops, I can't remember the other guy who played, but I don't know who's who. Tootie or Muldoon. One was short and fat, one was super tall. Uh, anyway, <laughs> having said that, all right, guys. Donut shops, huh? Did you guys check out any of that state fair crap they were pushing here? Oh, geez. It's all, it, that stuff's just as bad as donuts, if not worse. Yeah. Are you going? All right. <laughs> Love you guys. Be cool out there. Be safe. All right. Later, dudes. <coughs> there they are. Officers Trudy and Muldoon. You gotta love them. You gotta love those guys. Why? We all grew up with them, didn't we not? Yes, we did. And we had so many great, so many great uh, um, people out there that we, uh, that were in the entertainment business. And you know what? And, and you go through all the, uh, if you would, and you know what, all those shows and stuff we had, it's amazing how they never had one swear word. Oh my God! And we still laughed. Yeah, and we loved them. Yeah, and there wasn't even there wasn't even sometimes you go back a little further. There wasn't even the sexual innuendos. Yeah, can you believe that? Yes, at one time, it was amazing. Now you got this guy, uh, some politician local here. He's uh, he's using the word slut. He, yeah, slut. I, I I don't know. You know. Oh god. Anyway, are you guys sick of the politics? Politicians? Boy, I'm telling you, I just oh. okay. Uh, yeah, I want to go up and be that Brown family in Alaska. How about you guys? 
Remember that Brown family? They lived off the land, but they found out that they were phony. It was all set up. I don't know, whatever. But that uh, that's uh, that's not too far uh, fetched, really. You know, it's just getting so. Uh, in so many ways, you don't want to be part of so many things anymore. Uh, and it's uh, anyway. So anyway, here we go. We're gonna have some music, guys. All right. That's one thing about music and comedy, and you got a sense of humor and you love music and whatnot. Well, I'm telling you, that's a that is a great combination to have. Uh, in your repertoire and way of thinking and uh, looking at life. Got to have music, baby, and it's got to be good old rock and roll. You got it. Here we go. No, no. If you wonder what I'm doing, I gotta get my stupid commercials out of the way first. I don't, I don't want you guys here. Don't make me go to cricket time. Come on, I don't want cricket time. Here we go.
hands in white satin Never reaching the end Letters I've written Never meaning to send Defend. Just what you 